Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So, Logic 68, which you may be familiar with Logic 68, he created another payload that allows you to dump your PlayStation 5 games onto a USB hard disk drive. Basically, now he is back again, and there is a brand new payload that was released, and it's just simply called Backup Save PS5. So what it says here is, is that this is a simple backup extractor per user profile. So it looks like what you're going to get out of this is you're going to get your save games backed up and maybe a little bit more. We'll have to explore that. Now, it says right here that there was this brand new update version 1.0.1. And this fixed a number of problems that occurred in the previous version. Now, I did test that previous version and wasn't able to get it to work. So hopefully this new version will work okay. Now, in order to grab this, all you need to do is go over here to releases and select whatever payload fits the PlayStation 5 that you're going to run it on. So for my instance, mine is a 3.20 PS5, so I'm going to grab this L file, and then you can use any sort of tool that will send those payloads. Obviously, one of the ones that I use is just right over here, Netcat GUI version 1.2. You basically put in your PS5's IP address, the port number, which is 9020, and then select that payload and then just inject payload once your PlayStation 5 has been or has ran through the WebKit exploit. Let's go ahead and let's jump over to the PlayStation 5 and let's give this a shot. We do see it says that it received the L file and now it says it is executing. So I would expect some sort of pop-up notification or something like that to let us know you know, where we're at currently in the process. So we will see if we get one of those. Okay, so it does say here, debug, welcome MB Crump to the backup save application. Okay, so it says we've got five saves here and it is backing up all of those. So copy in progress, please wait. Okay, 84%. Okay, there we go. It, it looks like that is it. Okay, so now that that has finished up, I think now I'm going to grab the USB hard disk drive for my PlayStation 5, and I'm going to connect that back to the PC. Again, right now, this is just the backup process. The restore one will be coming around soon. Okay, and so what I've noticed is, is that on your USB drive, you will have a folder name, which is going to be the folder name that you were logged in on PlayStation 5. So mine is just MB Crump. And then inside of it, there is the save data Prospero. And we'll double click on that. And what we see right here is a couple of different title IDs. So if we wanted to see what game this one was associated with, and I believe this is Ratchet and Clank. We'll just copy that out. We'll head over to Google and we'll just paste that in. And yeah, that one goes to Ratchet and Clank. So we'll go back another folder. So we've got a couple of games in here. And then I do have a folder SCE backup, but I do not see anything inside of it. So yeah, for the most part, I believe that this is going to be backing up your save games. Now, one thing that was mentioned over on Twitter is, is that while this saves them, right now there isn't the restore utility. The restore utility will be coming out also, I would assume, very, very, very soon. So if you want to know how to back up your save games, then this is one way to do it. Easily put them on a USB drive and then be able to hopefully transfer them back and forth to other PlayStation 5s that at least can run these exploits or the WebKit exploit. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!